at my last school, there was a guy, he, uh, he took, like, every single type of axe, he, yeah. like, broke the top off and made him continuously spray, and he locked his gym teacher in, like, a little office with, like, 22 axe cans all spraying everywhere in there. Oh like, he got expelled because the guy had oh, axe That's axe. attempted yeah. murder. Did he call it Axewitz? Shut up. <laughs> oh, just, oh, just oh, oh, <laughs> Damn, that's a band. That that is that is I a really band. <laughs> Good no, time, God. Eddie Butt band. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jay fucking Jay, dude. That was just spicy, mate. <laughs> Incoming enemy vehicle! So I know I said I was going to make a video on Steep as soon as it came out, but now that that whole Papa John's deal where you get 40% off if you use the super secret Steep code is expired on Christmas Day, I don't even know if I should bother at this point. And even though one of you sent it to me for free in my Discord, I've been kind of trying to avoid it because Chad the African Bullfrog here keeps telling me to find single hotties in my local area, so I don't feel comfortable going in there. But beyond that, welcome back to Battlefield 1, the game that everyone unanimously enjoys. <laughs> I can almost guarantee that if you've logged on to Battlefield 1 recently, you've definitely seen all of the crying over the Martini Henry nerf, and so many players have no reason to rank up Scout to level 10 anymore. Like, now that the Martini gets dumpstered by basically all other sniper rifles, and the novelty of the Calibri has worn off, really no reason to rank up Scout all the way, and people are vocally mad about it. This is a load of barnacles. Just out of courtesy to all you edgelords out there with approximately 50 zillion kills with a martini, you have my condolences. So RIP in pineapples, because this gun will never be the same. We not that it really matters, because everyone has already migrated to exclusively using the bar now. I guess I'm not really the best spokesperson for using balanced weaponry with the amount of 18 aids that I toss at enemies like raisins at homeless people. <laughs> But I think it's safe to say that virtually every Martini Henry user essentially became a bar user after the patch. Now the secret weapon that nobody has discovered yet that I've been hiding away for the longest time is the tripwire firebomb. God, this thing's so deadly and dangerous. When I start to use it, I have to take my shirt off because I get so like unnecessarily sweaty for no reason. The best feature is how quickly it lights people on fire. Like I think you guys know at this point that even if you slightly brush up against virtually anything in this game, you're gonna burst into flames, but the incendiary tripwire takes it one step further. As soon as somebody grazes it, they are instantly engulfed in flames and there's no escape. It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. I'll take a potato chip. <laughs> and Even the guys that try to stop, drop, and roll on health packs still end up burning to death, but given my luck, they always seem to get revived and run around looking like burnt toast. In some situations, you want to be defensive with them, like if you know for sure that you're outgunned, you can always just put one on either side of you, and as soon as the guy moves, he'll inevitably end up being roasted like a peanut. My just got roasted! Yeah! Uh, something, something, toasted bun or you just got roasted. You don't even have to overthink it either. Like even if you put these things in very obvious places where there's a ton of foot traffic, people like myself are still dumb enough to run into them. I'll take a potato chip. And my thing just got roasted. Yeah! Once you reach your final tripwire form and achieve god tier status, you'll finally be able to throw these things down, bait some guy named Fapping Cringe into the flames, blast him in the kneecaps, and live with three health just to twist the knife while he's watching the kill cam. If for some reason you can't get the tripwire to work for you and you keep getting slaughtered in close quarters, you can always just adopt the flavor of the month tactic, which is shovel spam. I'm not gonna say I'm above that sort of thing because I love a good shovel triple kill as much as the next guy, especially when that third guy was just revived. <laughs>
Fun fact, certain melee weapons like knives are unable to destroy terrain and other melee weapons like hatchets and pickaxes can. Yeah, some can destroy barbed wire, some can destroy wood, and some can even do damage to light vehicles. Not that that really changes things, because I'm still going to be that Spurg Lord running around with a pickaxe or my shovel for my own amusement. Just know that these things exist. And one thing I'm genuinely curious about is which elite class you guys enjoy the most. This isn't any sort of gimmick to try to blow up my comment section. I'm just confused as to which one people like more than the others. My clear favorite is the flamethrower for obvious reasons, but I always need to pick up either the tank hunter or the guy that seems like he's that god with the world's fastest trigger finger in combination with steady aim and double tap. Of course he's got off a range and needs to compulsively reload every two seconds, but when he does have fresh rounds, oh, just kill yourself ahead of time. He's gonna shred you like cheese anyways. I even had a 1v1 elite versus elite recently with me as the double tap guy and him as the heavy weapons guy with that giant machine gun and it's the most underwhelming thing ever. Like, I just shot him in the face and went on my merry way. Like, oh, okay, I guess if you were curious about the superior elite class inside 10 meters, that myth is busted. If you're ever feeling a little stupid, keep in mind that I didn't know that the tank hunter had a sawn off shotgun for a secondary until about two days ago. Yes, yeah, since alpha, since beta, up until now, I thought the tank hunter only had a sniper rifle that you were forced to go to prone to use. So I was diving on the ground like an idiot until now. Please end my suffering. Just remember that anytime you need to take down a sentry, bullets work kind of well, but it's much better just to use my aforementioned advice and either just set them on fire or gobble them up with melee weapon spam. I eat sentries for breakfast, then I go to the hospital. And that's about it. I want to thank you very much for watching, and I definitely need to make a new video about Rainbow Six Siege. Oh my god. I was so wrong about that game, you guys should call me Arizona. That's a... Reference that you definitely don't get, but just know that I will eventually make a new one. Peace out, nerds.